How's it going everyone? So this is going to be a pretty quick video just to show you some stuff for uh, Sony TVs. How to get extra picture modes, how to unlock the 20 point white balance controls, and also how to get into the service menu to the white balance controls in there. So since the TV is off, that's what I'm going to do first. Uh, please ignore that the my meters are hanging on the TV. It's not going to affect anything for this video. So on your remote, down here you got display. 5, volume up, power. So you gotta press, let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit. My cat is going into a box, driving me crazy. Alright, focus. Alright, so what I like to do is have both thumbs ready, displays here. 5 is up here. Then go to volume up, and then power, just like that. So, display, 5, volume up, power. And then it should take you into the service menu. Now let me adjust the camera so you can see it. Alright. So, a bunch of pages here. It's a service menu. You don't really want to be messing around and screw something up. All you really need to do is go down to Panel PQ. Press Select. You can use the main just up and down, left, right, and select on here. And then go down to white balance or WB adjustment. And you see everything is set to 512 out of the box. So what I will be doing is seeing uh, once everything's set up, the uh, best white balance settings within the service menu. If you set these too high, you can clip colors. But by adjusting here, you increase the brightness of the TV. So I want to turn these up without clipping colors and get the white balanced out to D65 and then do fine adjustments from the uh, 20 point white balance controls in the actual normal menu. So now to leave, you can go up to back or just hit the back button on the remote. We'll do that. And then whenever you make any changes, you should turn it off and turn it back on. And another little tidbit, one time it kept going back into the service menu after accessing it. So if something like that happens, just hold the power button. And then you get cancel and restart, so you can just restart the TV like that. It's like a hard reset um, without having to unplug it. Alright, so now we are in the home screen. And what you want to do is go all the way up to the top and go over to apps. And then you're going to search for apps, and you're looking for this, the Kalman for Bravia. So let me go ahead and search it. Here's Kalman for Bravia on the Google Play Store. So it should take you right to it, as long as you spelled it correctly. So we're going to install, and the reason we're doing this is if you go into your picture settings, for your picture modes, you can see you start with Vivid, Standard, Cinema, Game, Graphics, Photo, and Custom. When you install the Common for Bravia app, you're going to gain Custom for Pro 1 and Custom for Pro 2, which essentially are the same thing as Custom, it just gives you two additional profiles. And then if you go down to advanced color adjustment, you can see advanced color temperature multi-point is 10 points. So that means your controls are limited to you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up through 100. And then by do, logging into Kalman, you unlock 20 point so that you gain 5, 15, 25, so on. So now we're going to open Kalman. Now you can get the app for free on your phone. And all you have to do is be on the same network, and you'll see an IP address at the top of the screen and a port number, and you connect it that way. Or if you have Kalman on your computer on the same network, you can link the TV using that IP address and port number. And then once you do that, you unlock everything. So let me do that really quick. I'll come right back. All right, so my screen went black after making the connection. 
the port number was already in on the PC version, I think on the phone. I have not actually tried the phone app, but I'm pretty sure someone said you have to enter that on the phone. But if not, then it's one less step. All right, so now if I hit the settings button, you can see we have custom for Pro 1, custom for Pro 2. Go down to advanced, and we have 20 point. So that's that. Um, like I said, pretty short video. Just want to show you how to unlock this stuff and how to get into the service menu for white balance adjustment. Um, having these extra profiles is nice because then you can have more settings for you know daytime viewing, daytime gaming, nighttime viewing, nighttime gaming, daytime sports, computer, etc., etc. Different profiles. The more the merrier. Alright, now I'm going to actually run AutoCal and profile my meter and get into real calibration. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.